Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss the part B. State the domain so that the function of fx is one-to-one -one function. So as we all know, or previously we already discussed, for the quadratic situation, it is not a one-to-one -one function. So now, based on the domain, we have to determine the fx is one-to-one. -one. So now, for your information, whenever we want to make it become one-to-one -one for the quadratic situation, we must make sure our work start with a standard form. So now we have to convert or make the fx become a standard form by completing the square. So given fx is equal to x square minus 3x plus 3. So now we are going to completing the square, the situation, so that it become a standard form. So fx is equal to x square minus 3x plus bracket square minus bracket square plus 3. By referring to negative 3x, then we will have negative 3 over 2. Negative 3 over 2. Simplify. So x minus 3 over 2 bracket square minus 9 over 4 plus 3. Next, we are going to focus on this part. So, equals to x minus 3 over 2 bracket square minus 9 over 4. So, 3 will become 12 over 4. So, now let's simplify the situation. So, finally, we will have x minus 3 over 2 bracket square plus 3 over 4. That is the standard form for the fx. So now it is time to determine the minimum point. So the minimum point would be x minus 3 over 2 equals to 0. So x will become 3 over 2. This will be our minimum value. So 3 over 4 will be our value of y. So that is our minimum point. So based on this situation, this will be our symmetrical axis. And this info will be our range for the function. So, question asks us to determine or state the domain so that fx is one-to-one -one function. So, the domain for f to be one-to-one -one function would be 3 over 2 until positive infinity or the domain for fx is to be one to one function it will be negative infinity until 3 over 2 either one so that the fx become one to one function regarding the range would be 3 over 4 until infinity so here we are and thanks for watching